Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Modus Ultra diagnostic tool and covers the use of global OBD2 scanner functions. Global OBD scanner coverage is strictly related to emissions-related coverage and is universal in that all vehicles sold in the U.S. and Canada since 1996 must comply with this standard. All 10 modes of OBD2 are covered by this tool and are accessed by selecting the OBD2 icon on the home screen. All service modes are not supported by all vehicles, so the available menu selections will vary. Note, some vehicles do not support all 10 modes, so results will vary. Let's start by exploring the OBD Direct Functions. This opens a menu of two choices, OBD Diagnose and OBD Training Mode. Training Mode allows you to navigate through the menus and see results without being connected to a vehicle. This is a good way to explore OBD2 capabilities. For this demonstration, we will select OBD Diagnose to diagnose a vehicle. We see the following options. Start Communication initiates a test session. Select Communication Protocol establishes which vehicle protocol to use. Let's select Connector Information to see where to find the Data Link Connector, or DLC, on this vehicle. Let's choose an Alfa Romeo. Some of these models may not be familiar in the U.S., but all vehicles are included in Global OBD2 so you always know you have emissions coverage on any vehicle. Let's select model 147. Here's the connector location. Have you ever searched for a connector that was not in the usual place? The DLC locator makes it easy. Now select continue. Coverage includes all 10 modes of OBD2 and readiness monitors which are very important when verifying emission repairs. Readiness monitors provide a status report on emissions-related systems. Some monitor reports require an extensive drive cycle in order to complete the requirements of the test. Results are shown for each monitor, if the monitor is supported by the vehicle, and whether the drive cycle test is complete for each monitor. Monitor tests must be complete in order for the vehicle to be ready for an emissions test. What's this? Troubleshooter for Global OBD2? You bet! Snap-on Troubleshooter consists of expert tips from OEM and specialty technicians. OBD2 tips pertain specifically to engine and emissions systems. Troubleshooter shows a drive cycle procedure for a fast way to complete readiness monitor tests. Troubleshooter code tips can save significant diagnostic time by giving you the likely causes for a specific fault code. For example, this tip on a vehicle speed sensor code shows likely causes that might not be obvious, like instrument panel or wiring issues. Let's take a brief look at the valuable information inside each of the 10 modes in OBD2. Mode 1 displays live data parameters for engine and emission systems. This is typically your first step when diagnosing a check engine light. Mode 2 displays freeze frame data. This is a record of vehicle data parameters captured at the moment a fault code was set. This can give valuable insight into the operating conditions of the vehicle at the time of the fault. Mode 3 displays the OBD2 trouble codes currently set by the vehicle. OBD2 fault codes are standard for every vehicle manufacturer. The code definition is also shown on the right to explain the meaning of the code. Remember to look at Troubleshooter for useful insight into the likely causes of each code. Mode 4 provides an easy method to turn off the malfunction indicator lamp, or MIL, after a repair. Caution! 
This also clears freeze frame data, pending codes, and readiness monitors. So this should usually be the last step in your repair process. Modes 5, 6, and 7 display data parameters related to oxygen sensors, saved results of manufacturer-specific tests, and trouble codes detected during the last drive cycle. This is useful in determining the root cause of recurring fault codes. Mode 8 allows a service technician to invoke an onboard test to seal the evaporative system for a pressure test. This function varies by manufacturer. For example, on Ford systems, this closes the canister vent solenoid for 10 minutes. Mode 9 can read the vehicle identification number, or VIN, as well as the calibration and ID numbers for the engine control unit, or ECU. Mode 9 performance tracking displays a record of the number of times each of the readiness monitors have been completed. Mode 10 displays diagnostic trouble codes with permanent status. These codes are stored in the powertrain control module for 400 days and cannot be cleared. Remember, for easy navigation, you can use the back icon at any time to step back one screen and the home icon as a shortcut to the main menu. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series.